Hi, and welcome to another edition of The Hot Seat. I'm your host, Eric, and with me, I have a very special guest, Juan Carlos, with me today. Juan Carlos? Hola, amigo. Welcome to The Hot Seat. Hola, amigo. That's a good lead-in. Where are you from? Soy de México. Estoy muy contento de estar aquí. ¿Y tú qué onda? ¿Cómo, cómo nos ves? ¿Cómo has visto la visita? ¿Bien? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Why are you here? <laughs> So we're here for an agency swap, and I really like it. Um, so we're here to learn from you guys and to help you out. An honestly. agency swap? Yeah. So you're here to learn from us and to teach us? Yeah, mostly teach us, teach you, because, you know, it's a program to help, like, other agencies. Sure. That that's are not a, that's performing a, well. That's yeah. at the heart. So yeah. you're here to save us? Is that yeah, what I could say? Yeah, of course, say? yeah. Good, good. What, what's, your, uh, what's your job title? I'm the director de uh -huh. Hint. So it, you would say hint, but it's hint. Hint? Hint. It's, it's clue in English. Hint. Yeah, hint. Okay. Your agency's called Hint. Yes. You're the director? Or CEO. You CEO. Okay. Yeah. So it's your agency. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, tell me a little bit about Hint. What's Hint do? So we do inbound marketing. We invented it with uh, Dharmesh Shah and Brian Halligan. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> that was nice of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know Al Gore? Yes, I did do. Did you help him invent the internet or did you invent inbound marketing after he invented the internet? Well, we invented uh, global climate change. Yeah. Oh, so, you yeah. did. You did. With you Al Gore. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we're an inbound marketing agency. Uh, we were funded in 2013, but started doing inbound in 2016, actually. Okay. Okay. So you're pretty new to this. For inventing it, you're a little bit behind. Yeah. Um, okay, so time you invented travel. it, and then you just took some time away from it, and then you decided to come back and adopt your invention? No, we time traveled. Time traveled? That's yes. a trick I've never learned. Yeah. Um, okay, do you use HubSpot? Yes, hard. Hard? Um, so you believe in HubSpot, and you, you, you work closely with Darmesh and Brian and HubSpot <laughs> um, to execute inbound marketing? Yeah, they run our campaigns, yes. <clears throat> okay. Are all the campaigns you run in Spanish or English? Well, we've actually ran campaigns in both in Spanish and English, but we do it uh, in English as a translation, not like okay. a native. Uh, yeah, like most of your clients are na uh, uh, from, native. From from Latin America. Yes. From Latin America, okay. and they so you, could have offices in the U.S. Sure, and sure, so very good. Yeah. So, tell me about a little bit about the Mexican flag. What's that symbol in the middle of your flag? Oh, that's interesting. So, uh, oh. so yeah. Uh, it's an eagle uh, hmm. devour, devouring a snake. Uh, okay. It has the snake on. So it was supposed to be the, a sign uh, uh, that the Aztecs were looking for to, fu to fund Mexico City, or me what we now okay. call as Mexico. And they saw uh, this eagle eating a snake on top of a nopal, which is a cactus. And they said, so that's the signal, let's build it here in the middle of a lake that will make this, the, the whole city sink uh, very slowly. Smart. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's, what would you say Mexico's number one export to the United States is? Okay. So things that are fun. You export fun? Yeah. What kind of fun? Alcohol. Um, uh -huh. Tequila. Tequila, yeah. Cerveza. Mezcal. Cerveza. Mezcal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, some, I don't know, other fun things, I think, yeah, like marketing and, you know, You export agencies. marketing? Yeah. Okay. I was looking for number one, not just like a list of things you could think of. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that's all right. I'll go, I'll go with fun. So you export fun. What do you import from the U.S.? What's uh, Mexico's number one U.S. import? Gringos. Gringos. You ship the gringos down there for fun also? Yeah. So yeah. you export fun and you also import us. To have fun. So we can have fun. Yeah. We're basically your fun uh, You're like the factory. Fun, fun capital of the world then. Yes, we are. Would you say? Yes. Do you think there's a funner place for exporting and importing other than Mexico in the world? No. Okay. We're it. Good. Straight point, straightforward answer is what we're looking for here. Yeah. What's the, what would you say the number one stereotype is that Americans have about Mexicans that's not true and you hate? That we are mischievous and liars and criminals and rapists. And uh, yeah. I thought you were just one giant cartel. Yeah. That. That? Okay. I cannot curse here, right? What? <laughs> It's a hot seat, bro. If you need to say shit in Spanish, you do it. Mierda. Yeah. 
Uh, who would you like to get to know better at my agency? You, man. Uh, good answer. Smart yeah. strategy right there. <laughs> uh, d tell me about your relationship status. I am married. Married? With one kid. With one child. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so tell me a little bit about your family. My wife's name is Monica. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been together for 13 years. We're awesome. St still not a, a set in stone thing, but yeah, 13 sure, you're years. you're trying it out for 13 years now? Yeah. We're on the trial period. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Excited and, to have a kid just to see how that feel. Yeah. And my yeah. kid is uh, Patricio Pato. Hola, Pato. And uh, he's eight years old and eight he's great. Old. He does Aikido and uh, gymnastics. Now that you've sworn though, you probably can't show him this hot seat. Uh, he, he, uh, he's no, okay. No. He's okay. Do you ever swear at your children? No. I do. <laughs> um, okay. When was the last, so you're married with a, with a son. When was the last time you had a date night with your wife? Do you know what that is? Do yeah. I need to translate that? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, it's, a, it's a moment in which you find yourself alone with another person. And with it, your and wife, I was thinking. Without your child there. Yes, and it ends up with a romantic moment. I mean, maybe if you're lucky. That I'm just always lucky. On, whoa. Dude. Uh, Every Wednesday. I'm surprised you don't have more kids. It um, <laughs> what, what would you say the average age of your employees are? 25, 27 maybe. 25 to 27? How many employees do you have? 47. Holy uh, shit, that's a lot of employees. Yeah, we are uh, we became, like two weeks ago, the largest agency in Mexico. Ah, congratulations. I always knew you were the best agency in Mexico, but now you're also the largest too? Yeah, it's it's not only the, the quality, but it's also the length. That's also a secret to his dating life. <laughs> Uh, okay, do any of your employees date each other? Yes. Yeah, you've had some fraternal gatherings inside the old agency? Yeah, it's okay. We, we, you, we don't enforce it, but we allow it. Yeah. You allow, well, you don't enforce, okay, good. Um, how, how would a border wall affect business for you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it will. No effect? No effect it's whatsoever. It's not that big a deal? No, I, okay. t I think it's a dumb idea, but I mean, sure. it happens. Sure. Dumb ideas happen. It doesn't mean it needs to slow you down though, right? Of course. So you're going to continue to be successful with or without a wall? Have you heard that uh, Mexicans are Wait, taking... Wait, who asks the questions here? Sorry. Um, is it true that the U.S. is better than Mexico at soccer? No. It's not? No. Okay. I don't know anything about soccer. I was just asking. Yeah, you just proved it. That would be embarrassing, it. right? Like... Yeah, you just <clears throat> proved it, yes. Okay. Have you guys ever won anything lately, like in the last 20 years in soccer? Yeah, lots like, of things. Like friendlies? You know, you don't know about soccer, so... Like, well, I know what a friendly is. <laughs> On the pitch. Um, how's the fishing where you live? It's great. Is it? Yes, it is. Uh, lobster, metal, sea bass, and uh, lots of things. Okay. Yeah. Good. Women. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen snow? Yes. In person? Yes. Have you ever had a snowball fight? No. Did you hear the forecast here? Yeah, tomorrow will snow. Yeah, we're gonna snow. It's gonna snow here. I just, I'm just. I can't wait to let you play in the snow. I'm, I'm just thinking about this, this uh, episode of The Office when Dwight just smashes snowballs into. Yeah. So, do you get American TV in Mexico? Yeah. Yeah, well, we don't, yes, but we don't have TV, so we have to reenact uh -huh, it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Watch it on your smartphone. Yeah, we have the signal, but, you know, we, we have, like, stones that we just, that we can't do it. Sure, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, what's the earliest in the day you've ever poured a drink at work? Never had, well, no, yes, um, 1 p.m. 1 p.m., well, oof, culture problem. <laughs> yeah. um, would you ever consider referring a client to us? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Then why haven't you? Under the, under the right circumstances that I haven't been They met. haven't been met yet? Yeah. The right criteria? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it had that's to fair. be such a great, grandiose client. Sure, sure. Too big for you to handle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. call us. Um, okay, uh, what's your favorite thing to do with a client? Like when you have clients come to town, they come into your office, like what do you do with them? Tourist activities. Tourist activities, okay. Yeah, like uh, swim into a cenote. Uh, or to take them to the beach to eat uh, seafood. The beach sounds good. Or Mayan sites. We have a Mayan sites five minutes away from our office. Really? I'd like and to see that. And a cenote. And a cenote is like a sinkhole. Do you plan on showing me that? 
If you behave, yes. If I behave. Do you like what you do? Yes, I love it. Do you like who you do it with? What are we talking about? Your employees. I don't do my employees. Ag come on, agency life. Do you like who I you work it. with? I love it, yes. It's tr lost in translation. <laughs> Dirty guy. <laughs> I'm uh, not. Who do you do it for? Do you like who you do it for? Do you like your clients? I love my clients. Yeah, you they guys make, have awesome clients. They make things happen. Yes, that's awesome. Um, are you guys good at it? You already said you're like the best ever, and you invented it. So maybe that's a bad question. But you guys feel like as an agency, you guys are doing good stuff for good people, and it's it's all working. Like you guys feel like you're you're really good at this stuff. Well, we do, but we are constantly questioning ourselves. So yeah, that keeps things fresh. And That's probably one of the reasons you're good at it, right? Is because you keep reinventing and keep working at it and you don't get complacent and stagnant and stuff like that? Never. Well, we, we kind of feel like every third day, I feel like we're the worst agency in the world. Yeah, and but the reality is not that, yeah. but it's that feeling that drives you forward and makes you yeah. better. To fill out the gap. Yes. I love that. Yeah, It's a great attitude. That's why you're winning in my opinion. Thank you. Um, what's the worst thing a client can do to keep you from helping them? So micromanaging us, trying not to, mm -hmm. not seeing the value in one. what we do. Good one. Yeah, mm -hmm. that could be it. Okay. What's your favorite thing to do for fun? You've got a day off, what do you do? I like to be with my son okay. and, and play Nintendo. We'll take him to the beach or going to, I don't know, skate or something. What do you guys have down there? Like a Nintendo 64s, are those new? Yeah, that's pretty new. It's this, uh, they're, and they're gonna launch launch the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's gonna it's gonna bomb. Man. Do you guys have Craigslist in Mexico? <laughs> no, no, because that's, that's where you could get some really good N sixty four games. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, do you own a gun? No, I don't. But I've shot a gun. You have shot a gun. Uh, yeah, okay. in Ca in California. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, it's probably stolen. Um, <laughs> uh, well, not by you, just by somebody else who let you shoot. I just it. took it from a corpse. <laughs> Key question here. Yes. Would legalization of marijuana in the United States reduce crime in Mexico? Oh, uh, we need to legalize it in Mexico as well. Mm. So global legalization would reduce crime? Yes. Absolutely, uh, right? Yeah. It solve a lot of really bad problems. Sadness, for instance. Yes. Well, I mean, yeah. Do you guys allow dogs in the office? No, we don't. We, sh we should, but uh, we're evaluating that. It's, it's complex. What percentage of dogs in Mexico do you estimate only have three legs? <laughs> Maybe 1%. 1%? It's low? Well, you I know. I see a high percentage of three-legged dogs when I go to Mexico. Maybe I'm going to the wrong city. Have you eaten a taco in Mexico? Probably. So sometimes the taco maker or the cook doesn't want to kill the whole dog. So, so we we'll just chop the leg and make the taco. That's good. It's a renewable resource that way. Yeah, you have three other legs for later on. Absolutely. Um, okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> uh, good line of questioning. Okay, do you have a, a favorite quote? Uh, some words of wisdom, something inspirational, maybe something that drives you, something you say all the time. Um, maybe you can say it in both Spanish and English so that we can uh, appeal to a, a broad global audience. There's this Mexican guy called Gandhi. Okay. He said uh, a phrase that I, in all seriousness, really like. That is uh, keeps me grounded, and he says uh, he said it, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so let me translate. Whatever you do will be irrelevant, but it's very important that you do it. Interesting. So whatever I think, oh, we hit it off. We're doing really great. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Who cares? But it still matters. It still matters. I like that. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's one of the best quotes we've ever had here. Can you say it in Spanish real quick? Uh, okay, so... Um, That's not Spanish, bro. <laughs> um, todo lo que hagas será insignificante, pero es muy importante que lo hagas. Oh, uh, it's even more eloquent. Yeah. Um, Gabby was Mexican. If invited, if we ever pass cross again, would you do this again? Of course I would. Yeah, would you feel more prepared? No, I'm always prepared. How many hot seats have you watched? Half one. <laughs> It's not a good show, though. It will take off from here. Sure, this could be the turning of the seasons. Of yeah, we're going to call this one Foreign Relations. <laughs> uh, how, do we, how the hell did we meet in the first place? How do we know each other? So David Winehouse from HopSpot introduced good us guy. to for you to help us build our agency structure. And you were really rude to us.
uh, from the get-go, and I kind of hated you. But it turned out to be all false, and, and you were a good guy. Sure. Yeah. So first impression's not so good, but then... It happens with me as well, you know? Sure. Yeah. I can understand that. But okay. yeah, I, I've really, uh, in all seriousness, I've really taken uh, like a lot of uh, teach, teachings from you, and I really like what you do and your agency, and that's why we're here. We traveled a long, long way to get here. Yeah, serious commitment. Um, you guys coming up here, you're here for an entire week. You're digging in with the agency and all kinds of different departments, different people. We're grinding you guys. You, yeah. You guys are in non-stop meetings. Um, yeah. But then, but then part of this is the agency swap is we're going to come down and visit you guys and you guys are going to return the favor and host us and we're going to learn a whole bunch from you guys too, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. But you see uh, the fact that we're doing this, uh, it's, it's not something that a lot of agencies would do so we would have to have this cultural alignment into into thinking that tide rises all ships and mm -hmm. and that's really cool uh, so i'm really glad we met like all of your team they're, yeah and, and they're great man we your, got team, team, huh? your team is awesome and we absolutely love them and when we came actually to hire them all mm -hmm. and five have accepted or proposal sure. so far. So if you do, I will dig a shallow grave for you in the sands of Mexico, <laughs> um, which means you'll probably be dug up at some point by a three-legged dog because it's hard to bury people in the sand. Yeah, but it, not, it will I'm take lazy. time. I'm not going to dig deep, bro. It's going to be like a yeah. light dusting. Yeah, with <clears> three <throat> legs, you know, trying to dig a body, it'll take them time. And we're not threatening because we don't speak Spanish, or at least I don't. It's okay. My uncle, El Chapo, will take care of you. <laughs> you mm -hmm. do know El Chapo. <laughs> of I knew it. Okay, do you have anything now it's your turn. Do you have anything you want to ask me before we end? Um, how uh, does it feel to have built such an amazing company? It feels awesome. It feels awesome to work with all the people you were talking about. Like to me as an agency, you know this. I know you can relate. You guys have more people than us. Um, it happens fast, right? Like you guys have just exploded and you got all these people and stuff. And sometimes I sit there and uh, uh, sort of just am really, really thankful and humble and appreciative that so many awesome, smart people choose to work in this agency and work for me and, and work with all of our clients. Like to me, that's very, very satisfying. It's very gratifying, right? Like I have a lot of pride in what we've built because of who's built it and it's been the team that's got there, right? And to see that team grow and to keep adding fantastic, brilliant people that come in here and just crush it, it's a lot of fun, right? Yeah. Do you ever like look at your people and say, damn it, how did I do this? How is this happening at all? Like, uh, do you become like uh, incredul incredulous? Is that a word? I don't know. Like, I, mean, I can't translate that in English. It, it is a word. He just doesn't know it. Sound I just I, mean, I my speak better English very than you. Limited. I mean, I would not doubt that at all. Uh, <laughs> sentence structure, basic grammar, uh, communication skills not necessarily my 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 biggest. Of quality. course, there are. Yeah. So, do you like see your team and like cannot believe that? this is happening for you. Yeah, I'm afraid it's all good. It's all like a dream and it's gonna fall apart tomorrow, right? Yeah, you have that imposter syndrome. Absolutely, imposter every day. syndrome, yeah. yeah, every day. Yes, live in a world of how the hell are we, how the hell did we get here and how the hell do we keep it there? As I tell the story, like I feel like I'm, I'm riding a horse bareback in the dark and I'm just <laughs> holding on for dear life and I don't know where we're going, just bouncing around like crazy and I'm just trying to survive, right? Like yeah. I have no control. That really comforts all your clients, I, I guess. It really comforts my employees, yeah, they feel secure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I feel the same way. Like some mm. some days That's a healthy fear. Yeah, that's, that's a healthy part fear. Part of the stuff that keeps you on edge and to keeps feel you the gap. Yeah. motivated to yeah. move forward and get better every day, right? Cool. Good. Yeah. You're awesome. Thank you. Uh, I really enjoyed our time today. I think you gave a good hot seat here. I think Thank you. this is going to propel us forward <laughs> into probably international fame. Netflix. Um, certainly possibility of Netflix. And when I come down, I'm going to bring, you brought a lot of gifts to us. You brought um, mostly liquor um, <laughs> uh, and a little bit of chocolate and stuff like that. Um, I'm probably going to bring you like a TV Thank maybe you. maybe my kids' old Xbox thank you, man. 360 or something like that. So you yeah. can have some modern technology down there. Yeah, thank you. Would be very appreciated. You're a couple steps ahead of Cuba, right? Like we haven't embargoed you yet. So your stuff's newer. Yeah, yeah. if you have like a, a, a computer 
that we can see because we've heard a lot of them sure. about them. Sure. Yeah. yeah, we've got a boneyard back there. We'll see if we can dig up. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate you, man. It's great. We've been good friends for a long time, right? Yeah. But I think uh, a trip like this and as much time as we get to spend together, I really look forward to how we can help each other's agencies. And like you said, it's a great big ocean. It's a very non-competitive environment. Um, all the jokes aside, I uh, uh, really appreciate the opportunity to, to yeah. bounce ideas off each other and play in the sandbox because I think there's a, a huge future for, for the entire industry, uh, for the inbound movement, for all the HubSpot partners. And the more we play nice together, the faster we all level up, the faster the water rises, right? So if we can help each other, we should. And I think that's what really is in the spirit of what we're doing here. I completely agree. I appreciate you, buddy. And I'm looking forward to coming visit you and see what how you're going to torture me when I get down there. Oh, yeah. All right. Good times. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for staying with us. A little long one, but that's because we have such a special foreign guest with us today. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We'll see you later. Muchas gracias. De nada. <laughs>